chasing the police every single day. No, I don't have to step out there. Okay, I'm gonna come to you. Your dog gets aggressive, and I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, like she was about to do. <laughs> pointing a gun at my house. Okay, that's why I have to step to the right. See you guys acting right now? You can ask that neighbor right there. Do these you want dogs. To step to the road? No, I don't want to okay. step to the road. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I told you. I'm gonna contact the sheriff. Thank you. Thank you. Get off my property. You better get off my property. I'm telling you right here. Will you call my attorney? Call whoever you need. I'm not talking to you. I don't have to talk to you. Stay right here. And I'm especially not talking to him. That'll be fine. Who do you need to talk to? I'm talking to the sheriff. I'm gonna get my attorney involved, and I'm not answering any questions. So, I'm, gonna I'm recording you right now. That's Just record you shooting that dog. That's fine. And in front you. of me, I told putting you. me in danger. No, didn't. Shot hit the dog. What I aimed at. Did you see that? And I told you to step to the road because if he got aggressive, I to don't. Me, I'd I'm shoot. on my property. Okay. I don't have to do what you tell me to. Okay. That's how your dog got shot. That's not my dog. Okay. You just told me it was your dog. No, I did not. You're I have it on recording. Exactly. I'm not I said you just shot that dog in front of me, putting me in Except danger. That's my dog. Listen to your I'm not talking language. to you, man. You're talking to me right now. Okay. I'm not answering so, any questions. I didn't ask you anything. I'm going to file a complaint. What is your name That's and badge fine. number? I thought you weren't talking to me. I'm not answering any questions. Okay. I'd like your name and badge number for okay. shooting a gun two feet in front of me. You'll get it. Thank you. Shooting a dog in my yard property, discharging a, a, a weapon. Okay. I'm not talking to the you. The reason we're out here. No, because this lady pulls a gun right here in the yard, pointing it at me while I'm on my porch. Pulling, I don't know if you even checked to see if she allowed to be carrying it. Does she have a felony? She has a carry concealed license. Okay. We've made contact with her. Three feet in front of me, shooting a gun. Listen to me, the reason we're here. Why don't you go ahead and put the dog out of its misery? Still, still here, alive. Here. Is Discharge it right in front of me. Because these dogs are There's people 50 dogs in this neighborhood, man. Okay. There's five or six. That dog has never attacked anybody. That neighbor, ask that neighbor and that neighbor. These kids running through here, I'm going to have his... Uh, you know what? I'm not talking. Okay. I know how you guys are. I'm going to make sure the, the sheriff, the, the mayor, my attorney, and everybody knows he just discharged a weapon okay, well, on my... This, this is just cruel. That little bitty dog is, is, is going to hurt you? We begin tonight with breaking news. A county deputy has been fired after a video shows him shooting in the face. Tonight, the dog is in stable condition, and we have a statement from the department on this late breaking news. Channel 7's Shelby Rose spoke exclusively on camera with the man who shot that video. LB. Janelle, this video has been rapidly circulated online since last night, and we want to warn you, it may be disturbing for some viewers. This cell phone video was taken. Faulkner County Sheriff's deputies were called to Doug Kennedy's property afternoon for a dog complaint. Once they arrived, a deputy threatened to shoot one of the small dogs if it became too aggressive. And he did just that, no more than 20 seconds later. To see that little dog get shot for no reason wasn't a threat. After the deputy is seen shooting the dog in the face, he approaches Kennedy with a tear in hand, and an argument ensues. Kennedy asked for a lawyer. I'm recording you right now. That's Just record fine. you shooting that dog in front of me, I told putting you. me in danger. No, didn't. Shot hit the dog. What I aimed at. This is a second angle of the incident obtained by KATV. Extreme fear ran through his body. What's he gonna do to me? Well, look what he just did to a little bitty dog. And he's chasing me to my front door with a taser. What's going to happen to me? The dog named Reese's survived the shooting, but suffered a shattered jaw and is currently under the care of a Little Rock veterinarian. The Chihuahua is considered a neighborhood dog, loved by both adults and kids throughout the Shiloh Estates subdivision.
it's a friendly dog. Um, she's sweet. She don't bite people. The news of the shooting was upsetting to those kids who play with Reese's nearly every day. I was kind of shocked and sad because the police officers, they usually don't shoot dogs like that. Mm -hmm. And it was a little dog, so they could just like, like kick it out the way if it was barking too much. The Faulkner County Sheriff's Department released the name of the deputy. Keenan Wallace was a canine handler. Saturday, the sheriff posted this message to Facebook announcing Wallace had fired and he is referring the investigation to the prosecutor's office. The sheriff said at this time it doesn't appear it's violated any laws or agency policies, but that deputy fell short of the standard of professionalism required by his position. He also added his thoughts were with Reese's during her recovery. Janelle. All right, it was for us tonight. Thank you. And this was the first time that Wallace was investigated for discharging his gun. According to the log, ca log cabin Democrat, Deputy Wallace was in an officer in back in 2017. No one was hurt in that incident, and per se, he was within his rights. There's a GoFundMe account set up. Reese's Care, you can find that link on our website, ktv.com.